It'll be a gain of four. And that'll make this a second down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and six. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. First down, here's the run with Cook. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. They run it again with Cook. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. Eight yards on the run there, and that leaves him with third and just a couple. On third and two, Shaw. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. Ola B.C. Johnson there to make the grab as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Fitting for what's been a tight ball game. We're all even at 20 now as the kick's away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, you got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. From the gun, a run for Johnson. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Again, it's Johnson. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. Here's Johnson. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Johnson on the counter. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Third and two, Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. They'll run on first down. It's Johnson. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second and seven, Stafford. Johnson's got it complete. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. 
This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Out of the gun, Stafford. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Stafford going to come up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Back to throw, Stafford. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Faking the give to Johnson, now it's Stafford. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Ben Gideon able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. And on first and goal, they decided to throw for it, but the coverage was excellent. And he kept holding the ball, hoping someone would shake free. Instead, he's hit and drop, and now they're not even in the red zone anymore. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Third and long, it's Stafford. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Tremendous field position there and a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. And Bryant's kick is good. And with that, they will move out in front by three. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? This will be taken in at the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit with play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. Throwing on first down, Shaw. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. He'll get 15 and a Vikings first down. To back good plays have them on the move on first down operating from the gun Shaw he gets this one into the hands of Dalvin Cook and he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down that last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one absolutely nobody fooled there he's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage we all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to say. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. 
Instead, didn't go their way, did it? No, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. On third and two, Shaw. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Watch right there. Watch right there. <laughs> on first and ten, Shaw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Coleman. Pass interference. Defense. This home crowd, they're happy with that call. <laughs> I like the way you said happy there, right? The so-called good guys didn't get a call. They feel like it's been that way all out. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. JPP cruising in for the sack that time. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Second and long. It's caught. Smith. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. To throw on third down. Shaw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. Just inside the 20 at the 19. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And his kick is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. Well, you talk about clutch. That one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, <laughs> trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. Fielded about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And they are going to bring this one back. It's a fumble return, a scoop and score for the Vikings. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. No going for two, they'll kick the point after. take a seven point lead now so not only the cough up but then the pick up on the other side the scoop and the score the other way the fumble return for a touchdown and you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes Matthew Stafford now to lead his offense back out there. Well, the situation, very simple here. Late game, down seven. They've got to get it in the end zone. And the best players know how to be calm in these situations because you know right now his pulse is like a jackhammer. So how does he rein it in, make sure the team has a little bit of calm, 
coupled with that sense of urgency, got to walk that line a little bit, but get it downfield in order to score, and then put the pressure on the guy who kicks the ball because he could tie the game. It's been a fun game. It all comes down to this. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. The shotgun snap for Stafford. Open man is Galladay complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And the catch made by Johnson. Roughness defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all. And now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Stafford on first down. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off down at the 10. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. But if you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Now the Minnesota offense set to take over again. They get the crucial turnover just huge, but now they've got the football deep in their own territory, and you got to be careful because if you give it right back, there goes your lead. Have to be extremely happy with their defense. They received a gift, that takeaway. Even though they're deep in their own territory, now they have the football. And you know there's always that alpha on defense, that grouchy guy. Forget what the coaches said. I'll guarantee you, he told the quarterback, we just took care of you, now you take care of us. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Handoff comes to Cook. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively for the Lions. An extra DB in the game now here on third down. A give. This is Cook. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's A.J. Cole now as he's on to punt for Minnesota. Agnew now to return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So Matthew Stafford in the offense. Down by seven, a minute 40 remaining. They need a touchdown and the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this, week one of the season. We'll be back. Stafford. And he can't get a throw away. He 
He's taken down. Anthony Barr in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. They'll look to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Two huge plays there down the stretch. The sack on second down. Now they force the incompletion. That's going to lead to a do-or-die fourth down. And they look like they've got the confidence right now that no matter what gets thrown against them, when whatever play gets run, they have the ability to shut it down. They're just brimming with it right now. They snap it to Stafford. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off at the 49. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Agreed, that's twice now in this fourth quarter. As a quarterback, a lot of times you think it's all on you to make plays when you're losing. And here, the play's not there, but he throws it anyway. Minnesota and they've got this one in hand no timeouts remaining defensively so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes they go down to a knee and the new campaign off to a good start it's a win here in week one So the final seconds have ticked away in this Minnesota victory. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for Minnesota, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they go down to defeat here in the opener. 